of the features that our nervous system shares with the nervous system of even invertebrates? Think of, I don't know, sponges and little critters in the ocean. Um, is that we have, we have a digestive tract, and that digestive tract has to uh, pump stuff through from the mouth to the, to the anus. And we have the same, we have the same thing, um, and in, in us, we have a nervous system where invertebrates have a, a, a bunch of ganglia, and the nervous system that we have there, called the enteric nervous system, looks pretty much like it's a bunch of ganglia. It is, and, and then the language is the same. So there, there are ganglia that line the, um, the, the digestive tract. And more so than, than uh, anything besides the heart, th this, this muscle uh, with its ganglionic uh, innervation is competent to do things all on its own. So it does not get very much direction from the central nervous system. So the central nervous system does project to the enteric nervous system, but very, very little bit, whereas it gets information back from the enteric nervous system a lot. So we're getting sensory information back from the enteric nervous system, but we are not directing it. This is a, when, when, when the, the idea of autonomics being an automatic type of uh, nervous control was first described, it's really with this in mind, with the enteric nervous system in mind, which is the enteric nervous system is so competent on its own, divorced from the CNS. Now, so let's just look at what, uh, what our enteric nervous system has. It has two different plexuses. Um, on the outside, where the, where the longitudinal muscles are, it has Auerbach's uh, plaque, which is, consists of myenteric ganglia. And that is, uh, Auerbach's is, is responsible for uh, controlling the rate of peristalsis, controlling and allowing for peristalsis. And then there's Meissner's uh, plexus, which is, contains submucosal ganglia. So this is below the um, the level of the of the muscles and it, this is a, an area that is going to control the secretions into the lumen of the digestive tract and we re, we uh, return about nine liters which is over two gallons of water back into the digestive tract um, and uh, a, and this can be made more or less at any one moment. Uh, through this, this is uh, controlled by the, by, by Meissner's uh, plexus. Now, even though the bulk of the information flow comes this way, so that after Thanksgiving di dinner you you feel full, you get all these lovely signals that you're full. Um, there is also th uh, this small projection from the central nervous system to the enteric nervous system, and that allows you to have a, a, an emotional affective control over your uh, digestive tract. And that is a common experience. You're very nervous, you're very calm. Well, your digestive tract uh, will reflect that. And so the, um, the interaction between the control of the digestive tract and, and central um, uh, emotional state is, is very uh, compelling, and there is huge comorbidity between problems of digestion and um, problems, uh, and emotional problems such as anxiety. Okay. Um, I, 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 we're gonna look at two, uh, only two features of the enteric nervous system right now. Uh, the first is uh, a type of cell, as you, as you may have heard, the bulk of the serotonin in the body is found in the gut. Um, uh, and uh, the, these enterochromaffin cells are one of the types of cells, there are many different types of cells in the enteric nervous system, and they release serotonin. And the, and the serotonin is going to increase the rate of peristalsis, so it's going to keep things flowing through. Um, 
uh, and imagine what happens if you take an SSRI. So an SSRI is going to block uh, serotonin um, reuptake, and as a result, uh, there's uh, there's there's a higher level of, of serotonin released or higher level of serotonin effective and uh, available for neurotransmission, and this will increase the rate of peristalsis. Eventually, that effect may reverse, and so what people may experience is an initial response uh, uh, to SSRIs of diarrhea, and eventually um, that may change either to uh, normal or to constipation. So uh, that's one comment I'll make. And the second comment is that the most common problem with the enteric nervous system is a neonatal developmental problem, and it's called Hirschsprung's disease. Um, Hirschsprung's disease is also called me megacolon. And this uh, x-ray uh, uh, with contrast really shows you what's going on here, which is that the, the colon has all this stuff, but it can't get out. Okay, so there, this is a, if, if there is no enteric nervous system, there's no peristalsis. Everything stops. It's paralyzed. Um, this has to be treated. And how it's treated is, in most cases, it's not that the entire digestive tract is aganglionic, is, is without a enteric nervous system. It's that a part of it is. So what happens is the surgeon will, will connect the part with the part, will take out the section that does not have ganglia and connect the two ganglionic parts together. Um, uh, and the, the more ganglionic, the more of the tract that is lacking in ganglion, the more severe the, the disease, okay? And so what is, and, and then where, what else would you think about if you saw somebody with a megacolon? If you saw a baby with megacolon, and this is gonna become obvious within a day or two. Um, it may be obvious at birth. Well, it's a neural crest. The, the enteric nervous system derives from neural crests. So you want to think about other neural crest derived tissues, things such as um, uh, the, the craniofacial uh, appearance, uh, ear, the um, ear development, inner ear development, the ossicles, etc. Pigmentation, uh, so melanin. Um, so all of these things are, are uh, neural crest-derived tissues. And so if you see megacolon, you want to think and see whether, there's, um, whether it's just an enteric nervous system problem or whether it extends to other um, uh, neural crest-derived tissues. Okay, so now we're going to end up homeostasis by looking at sleep. <laughs>